Well, tonight we are competing at one of my favorite racetracks I've ever had the opportunity to run at. We are at the Lakeside Speedway, which is classified as just under a half mile. It's a big track located here in Kansas City, Kansas. And tonight we are gonna be racing with the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. But welcome back to today's video. We are happy to bring you guys along for actually our first 360 race of our trip. So far, we have only had the 410 in and we've been racing with the All-Star Circuit of Champions. That Thunder Through the Plains deal though is done it ended at Knoxville. That was on Saturday. We had Sunday and Monday off and that was good preparation for dropping our 360 in, getting some maintenance done, and now we are back at, as I mentioned, one of my favorite racetracks I've had the chance to run at. Now I'm currently standing on the back straightaway. There is a good look at turns three and four. Then we got to look at the front straightaway and turns one and two. I'm really looking forward today just for the fact that I get to go back to a racetrack out here in the Midwest that I've been to before. We have a notebook. We have an idea of what to expect. When we were here in 2020, it actually opened up ASCS Speed Week, but we started 10th and ran 7th. The track was super smooth. It was wide. It was kind of getting closer and closer to the fence around the high side, but you could also work the bottom right around the infield tractor tires. So this is gonna be another ASCS national show tonight. I think we're expecting anywhere from 25 to 33 60s. We have the pill draw coming up soon along with the pit meeting. So let's get the night started. I'm feeling good, I'm excited. As I mentioned, it's just great to get back to a racetrack you've been to before. It's much more difficult when you don't know what to expect going to a new place. All right, well, hot laps are complete here at the Lakeside Speedway, and the place is already getting really, really slick. When we were here in 2020, it actually started out hammered down, wide open and qualifying, and just throughout the night, slowly got a little bit slicker. When we rolled out, though, for engine heat and then that hot lap session, it already was slick. You can see how hard the surface is, which means throughout the night, it's gonna go very, very quickly. We only have 25 or 23 60s here in the pit area. That's gonna set up three heat races, and with my pill draw luck with ASCS, no qualifying, just straight into a heat race based off of a pill draw and I pulled a 47 out of 75 but I think with my luck and a lot of guys pulling a low number I start ninth at heat race number one which sucks because that puts so much emphasis on your night on that pill draw but at least since the racetrack's slickening off you know we have a chance at going forward I would say we need to try to pass at least two three four five six cars to try to get in the redraw tonight to start in those first couple of rows in the a main event there's a little bit of grip on the bottom a little bit of grip up top kind of getting dirty up there so hopefully if it stays clean we can go forward opening ceremonies is going to be up next and then we're right into a heat race.
race and I guess the most important part of the night is complete here at Lakeside. Car felt really, really good and the track's actually pretty racy. For a heat race, you can run the top, you can run the bottom, you can slide cars right through the middle. It's not really slowing down a lot because these half miles you can run at such a rapid pace but it's very, very slick and already starting to eat tires a little bit on the left rear. I just really feel frustrated. I felt like we ran it as hard as I could there and I started seventh and only ran sixth. The biggest problem on these larger tracks and starting towards the back is even if you're faster than someone they get so far spread out you know it takes you maybe a lap or two to start running guys down and I got a pretty good start and at one point I even got by the 15 H and I was right on the 22 but I just made a couple of mistakes at the wrong time so like I lost a couple positions that I had gained overall though the car's really good I just needed to start farther up front you know a lot of guys are fast right now and it's hard to make up that ground so I thought we were maybe gonna run fourth at one point we were in fifth but we still came home six because I just I bobbled a little on the last lap and the guy I passed got some grip off the bottom so it's just so frustrating because now I'm probably not gonna start inside the top 10 I definitely am not gonna make the redraw even though we did go forward a spot I was originally gonna be ninth but then one car dropped out so that moved me up a row I do not get credited with ninth to sixth I just get credited with where I started the heat race when the first green flag dropped well, I know we were hoping to start farther up front tonight. They just posted the lineups, and after three 360 sprint car heat races, the 18T will be rolling off from 15th for tonight's feature. And that's not exactly what we wanted. We were hoping to get some more passing points or have a better pill draw, but that's all part of this format and part of racing, so some nights you just have to take what you can get. On a positive note, though, the Lakeside Speedway from hot laps to the heat race was phenomenal. Super slick, exactly how I like a racetrack and wide. They're doing a little bit of preparation right now. I'm on entry to turn three. You can see a little bit of grip on the bottom and slick and then right up towards the wall. A wide racetrack is super important for passing race cars and you can see that right now. Got a little bit more banking up by the fence so you can carry speed and it's a lot longer around. The bottom is much shorter. You might have to slow down, kind of uh, not, try not to spin your tires by pedaling it, but you get the grip. So sometimes that is also much faster line than running the top. They're just gonna be finishing up though, final preparations. They're out here at the water truck, not sure if they're gonna till it at all, but the surface is good. I'm hoping they work on it just a little bit more because with how fast it did slicken off and how hard the surface is, I'm worried that it would rubber up with 25 360s out there for a 25 or 30 lot feature. We have 25 laps here at the Lakeside Speedway. Up next, we are rolling off from 15. They did a lot of track prep and, pre prep, and after we talked last, uh, they actually went out there and tilled the bottom and tilled the top. Now there was a stock car feature and a modified feature in between, so I think it's gonna blow off a little bit, and also I think rubber and tires are all gonna be an issue during this race. These fast bank tracks are really hard on equipment, and I think that's really gonna go through during the A. So we need to keep an eye on that. I think it's one of those situations where almost you wanna try to run the top and you want to find the rubber when it comes in if it does but you don't almost want to be the first one because that guy's tires won't make it if that makes sense so we start 15 i feel good track smooth uh two lanes to start and i think it's only going to get slick and get really really good as the race goes on so let's head on out
So the Lakeside A-Main event is over. What a wild night. And one thing that was true last year and true again this year is there is so many amazing fans and we already have a line out the door. I have a fan though that wants to be in the video. What's your name, dude? Corwin. And he wanted to know if we were making a video tonight and I was like, yes, do you want to maybe be in it? You said you did. Uh, where are you from, dude? Can't, um, Level Wars. I'm like right 30 minutes away from here. This is, pretty this is a pretty cool place to have as a local track like he does anyway. A great night here at Lakeside. We're going to finish it up and then head to Knoxville. So we have more fans that want to be in today's video. Let's start with the little guy. What's your name, dude? Uh, Tristan. And? Blake. And? Jace. And these guys all came over to meet us. And this one right here, he was actually waving at me every single time I went on the track. I noticed you. Uh, where were you guys sitting? Right there on the front straightaway? Yeah, right in front of the flag stand. It was awesome to have these guys here. Like I said, the fans at Lakeside and in the Kansas, Missouri, Iowa area, they have a love for dirt track racing. I just love to be a part of this. Hi, I'm Bentley Neiman and I'm Jackson and we appreciate Tanner Holmes being here with us. Check out, and his, new check out his new merch, Road to 50K. As you can see from the last couple of clips, there was some fans here tonight at the Lakeside Speedway. Unfortunately, they already shut off the lights on the racetrack, so I can't go and show it to you. But as I said earlier, this is one of my favorites. And after tonight, I feel like it even moved farther up the list. We started 15th, came home 7th. Roger had my car on rails, my crew chief. We felt dialed all night. Just wasn't able to make a lot of ground there in the heat race, didn't get a great pill draw. I don't mean that as an excuse, but that's just a serious part of the format. There Therefore, we started 15th and we didn't have any yellows. So on these big tracks, as I talked a little bit about in the heat race, just get a little spread out and it takes laps to catch the car in front of you. Lap traffic did play a big factor. I know it did up front and even where we were at at the back half of the top 10. But overall, my car, as I mentioned, felt good. Mainly ran the high side in three and four and early on ran the top in one and two, but it just got so slick and there wasn't a lot to grab you. And they had watered the bottom right before the A. So the bottom was extremely fast in one and two. It was all right in three and four. I think it was just as competitive, but overall we were able to move around enough. And once I got to the bottom in one and two and the top in three and four is when I really started picking off some guys using lap traffic and in clean air. So overall a great night. Do you want to take a second though to thank all my sponsors Follow me out here? To start, we have my good buddy, Kyler Shaw at Fast Four Media. Then we have Next Gen Def, Pit Stop USA. I have a new Pit Stop suit for Knoxville Nationals. So excited to show that to you guys. Then we got OMA KTM, QRC, and Earth Environmental out of Northern California. Below the wing on the hood, we got on-site screeners, some of our friends back in the Rogue Valley. And then up top, Pit Stop USA, Carson Oil, Lafarge, ABC Powder Coating. And then as I said, our crew, Chris is filming right now. We have Bennett, my dad, mom, Carly, Chance, Roger. Everyone just plays their role and man, this team is so much fun. We're gonna be on to Knoxville to finish off our trip with 360 Nationals. Our prelim night is Friday. Looking forward to getting back to the sprint car capital of the world. All loaded up and another night is complete. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't a little disappointed that we didn't run in the top five on the podium or get a chance to compete for a win. Lakeside, there's just something about this place. I've only been here twice, but it was awesome in 2020 and it was another phenomenal surface tonight. I just love how slick it is, how wide it is. Literally running the fence is so much fun, or I guess up on the top. It gets really close to the fence, maybe not like a curb right on it or a cushion as the Midwest people call it, but it gets up there and it's a long ways around, just under a half mile, perfect size. Uh, you can run so many different lanes and really race hard. The ASCS National Tour, which is who we ran with tonight, is a national touring series and has some of the best 360 drivers in the nation. So to run the 410 with the All-Stars, come run with these guys and I'm really seeing improvement and how confident I feel in the race car and then also our setup coming back to a place we've been before. This is really for sure when racing gets fun, when you start charging towards the front and you're getting closer and closer to that goal of winning a national race, whether that's 360, 410, or just winning a race in general. I'm telling you, if we keep putting our best foot forward and the effort and the hours, it just takes time. We have a win coming sometime and we just gotta keep getting after it. So it's been a fun year. We've been getting our butts kicked. We've got to see a lot of new tracks so far this trip. I love it out here in the Midwest. I keep saying I need to move here. Thank you to all the fans that showed up to the Lakeside Speedway tonight and who have been following along for our whole trip. I love how much you guys love dirt track racing just like I do. It's our passion. It's our life, and this is what we put all of our time, money, and effort into. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. This trip is going to be fi finished off at the sprint car capital of the world, the Knoxville Raceway. See you guys all this weekend. It's going to be fun. We are living the dream. Deuces.